All right, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all before picture. This is a truck we just got in. Had jib poles on the back. We're taking them off and putting boasters on it. This is a 5500 GMC C5500. It's got the cat motor in it. Hello, y'all. This is Tyler from Watch Your Soul. How y'all doing today? Guys, we got the truck going on. Here, what I did is I went and got some old boasters from a guy I used to work for. Had these off of a lot of them logging trucks. They were bad. They had some cracks in them. Had some bad spots in them. Instead of buying new ones or going a different route, I went ahead and got these and we're redoing them, repurposing them. Hey, trust your boy can't survive, son. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. I don't mind working with stuff that is tore up and that you gotta redo for a lot cheaper price. For scrap iron price, takes a little bit of weld rise and a little bit of work, but we're getting it done, guys. What we're doing is we're putting your boasters on the back of this truck. We're gonna put an I-beam across the back, and then we're gonna be able to winch the logs up on the back of the truck to pull them up. This truck has got two 12,000 pound winches on it, so we're gonna rig it up so we can pull logs on there when we need to. That's what we're working on. Making it a little easier to get logs for the sawmill. Wayne's doing a little prepping. Steven's over there doing some welding. That's the first set of posters that we got up. We're going to put the second deck in the back. I have to be across the top of that one. Right here in the front of the posters where you see the posters coming up, the red ones. And then you got the other ones in the back. We're going to take that bottom winch and move it up. So we're going to have to build something to put that winch up there. So we can pull the logs up higher. Make it a little easier to pull them over. It's coming along though. Slowly but surely. that winch in the front up higher is too low. There you go, Wayne. He's over there fitting tight. Going back to his old days. Guys, what we got going on over here? Aaron's on top welding up there. You see that I beam? That's where the winch goes. These posts are eight foot tall from the bed to the top. That's your standard size on your 18 wheeler. I don't need them that high. They don't have to be that high because I can't haul that much weight on this truck. And instead of just leaving them up there, 
I'm having problems going over the top with the tractor because my tractor don't pick up high enough. So we're gonna cut them off because that's that's all the uh, posts that I need on that side anyway. The truck ain't heavy enough to haul that all the way up to the top. I mean, we had a pretty good load of logs on there a while ago when we come in, but that's we're about maxed out. That's about all we can haul on. You guys, I hope you enjoy this stuff. We're just trying to get it done on the homestead, making things happen. Had a guy that brought a bunch of cedar you see back here behind me. Right up in there. I've been eyeing them logs for a long time on the side of the road over there. Several friends have asked for them and the guy wouldn't get rid of them. Now he's getting rid of them. He's bringing them over here to me and we're cutting them all halves. So I have plenty of cedar over here. Guys, appreciate you. Love you. God bless. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.